you guys. Wow, I'm liking what I've done. And I don't do this this often. Um, I've not, as you've seen, have you seen, as you've seen, I've not actually used a brush or even a pencil or a smaller tool at all. I only use my fingers and a palette knife and that's all I've used. And I'm liking the outcome. It is challenging because you have to um, really wield, wield or yield, wield, wield <laughs> the palette knife in your fingers. Like when you want to do details, that's when it gets harder. So like the little, if I want to do little darker things, it's kind of harder. You, and then I kind of think I want a smaller tool, a pen or something or a brush to to, to make it easier. But it's as a suggestive impressionist um, painting I really like it see and so <laughs> I kind of did this just as a demonstration for you guys and I'm thinking I want to do this more often I'm gonna try and do this on canvas you see so this is me broadening my horizons and um, thinking ha huh, this is very cool um, I mean similar to what we did oh no you, oh no, no no sorry there's lifebook but anyway some of you are on lifebook when we did um, expressive Flower, excuse me, flowers recently where we didn't use any brushes either. It's similar, but I didn't know I could do a face. Anyway, ta da! So, this is utterly different from what I normally do, as you guys know. So, my approach is usually um, much more illustri illustrative, very, f very fine work, very precise and detailed work. This is very expressive, and what I love about doing this is that. It, it be exactly that the freedom and the expression of just expressing without the tiny detailed stuff and you can create beautiful work that way um, yeah so I'm happy with this and I'm gonna kind of sit down and think and even I would I could obviously now do is once it's dry I can go in with pencil if I wanted to refine something up I could do you can obviously layer and do so much more I mean I can add a little butterflying here look so if I was to kind of bring things together, look how cool that would be if I combined, oh sorry, if I combined this really expressive style with some illustration, I could start maybe doing some drawings around it now. I love that idea. You see? <laughs> I like that. So that's an idea, you see? So I could kind of branch out that way if I wanted to, or try that out and again, grow, Grow my, grow my voice, grow my stories, grow my way of creating. Okay, now I'm going to do one more uh, example of working in a in a different way than I normally do, um, and it's it's um, what I call blob art. So I'll be right back. 